After decades of development and testing, the first Dream Chaser test article is finally complete and is preparing for its maiden flight. In the past, the space shuttle was a staple within the industry, flying over 100 times with both crew and cargo. Its unique design allowed it to be reused after landing on a runway. However, it was far from perfect and was retired in 2011. Now, a new modern space plane is getting ready to lift off, marking the beginning of Dream Chaser's busy future. This includes multiple variants for crew and cargo, a smaller size, folding wings, and a host of features that improve on past designs. This news from Sierra Space comes just in time as they prepare for a launch in just a few months. Here, we'll dive deeper into the completion of Dream Chaser Tenacity, the final steps before launch, and why this mission is so important. Dream Chaser was publicly announced all the way back in 2004. At that time, the company working on the project wasn't even Sierra Space. It was a different group called Space Dev. A few years after starting the project, in 2008, Space Dev and the Dream Chaser space plane were acquired by the Sierra Nevada Corporation, the parent company of Sierra Space. Since then, we've seen various tests and progress as the company developed and assembled the vehicle. This morning, we received arguably the biggest update in the project's over decade-long development. Sierra Space tweeted, We've arrived at a profound milestone in both our company's journey and our industry's future, said CEO Tom Weiss. Tenacity, the first vehicle in the Dream Chaser fleet, is complete and will ship to the Neil Armstrong test facility in the coming weeks. This tweet included an image of the entire Sierra Space team with tenacity completed in the background. In a closer-up image provided by the company, we can see a variety of details such as the vehicle's thrusters at the front, the folded wings, needed to fit within the fairings of United Launch Alliance's Vulcan rocket, and thousands of thermal tiles spread across the body. In a company statement, Sierra Space said, Today, we proudly reveal the fruits of years of passionate determination, countless breakthrough innovations, and relentless commitment the remarkable Dream Chaser space plane. Sometime in the next few weeks, this vehicle will ship to NASA's facility in Ohio for final testing before launch approval. Interestingly, Tenacity has already been to this facility before, where it completed some checkouts. Earlier this year, Sierra Space and NASA successfully completed a joint thermal vacuum demonstration test at the facility. The test was performed in preparation for integrated Dream Chaser spacecraft environmental tests, which are only weeks away. It went well, and now, later this month, a few more tests will be completed. Once testing is done, and assuming the results are good, Dream Chaser Tenacity will be ready to ship to Florida for integration onto Vulcan. The first launch will see Tenacity lift off before attempting to reach and berth at the International Space Station, ISS. It will bring cargo, stay docked at the station for a few months, and then attempt re-entry into the atmosphere. If successful, it will then try a runway landing, completing its first mission. Back in January 2016, NASA announced that Dream Chaser had been awarded one of the CRS-2 contracts, committing to purchasing a minimum of six resupply missions to the ISS. This initial mission is mainly a demonstration, meant to prove the capability and operations of this new vehicle. If things go well, we can expect a ramp-up in Dream Chaser flights as the company completes its contracted missions with NASA. As for the specific launch date for this maiden flight, 
there are still a few unknowns. Most recently, the company was targeting next month in December. However, the vehicle Dream Chaser is launching on, ULA's Vulcan, has faced delays. The first launch of Vulcan, which will not carry Dream Chaser, is targeted for Christmas Eve. The second Vulcan launch, which will carry Tenacity, is expected in January or February of 2024 at the earliest. In addition, a few months ago, Tom Weiss, the chief executive of Sierra Space, said the company was working towards a first launch of its cargo Dream Chaser vehicle by December. He expected Dream Chaser to be fully integrated with its launch vehicle in that time frame, with a launch window extending into early February. The last time we saw a space plane launch was back in 2011, during the final space shuttle mission. Even though Tenacity is also a space plane, it is very different from the shuttle. Dream Chaser is a multi-mission vehicle meant to support a variety of low Earth orbit LEO needs. It can be customized for both domestic and international customers via vehicle configuration, launch site, destination, landing site, duration, and other variables. Sierra Space describes Tenacity as an uncrewed spiritual successor to the space shuttle. At 30 feet, or 9 meters long, it's about a quarter of the total length of the space shuttle orbiters. This makes the space plane more sustainable and easier to maneuver. Additionally, it allows for gentle 1.5G runway landings, ideal for fragile cargo. Dream Chaser can be launched in a stowed configuration inside a 5 meter payload fairing making it significantly more flexible by reducing ascent loads and protecting it from debris. In 2017, Sierra Space conducted a test flight where the team tested Dream Chaser's hardware during an autonomously conducted atmospheric flight over the California desert. Dream Chaser deployed its landing gear and touched down on the runway at NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center demonstrating its unique lifting body design. Dream Chaser Tenacity is now officially complete and only needs to finish some final testing before it's shipped to Florida and integrated for flight. This one mission has been decades in the making. After so many years of development and testing, if successful, we can expect a ramp up in flights and the return of frequent space plane missions. We'll have to wait and see how this progresses and the impact it will have on the space industry. Thank you very much for watching.